everyone, welcome to School of Scarlet. Today I am coming to you with another intuitive message. So what's coming through today is darkness. So what am I meaning by darkness? I have something to share with you. And if you clicked on this message, this message is meant specifically for you to hear. It's an intuitive message. And so darkness is coming through for me. I've actually been in the darkness now for more than a few days. And so what's coming through is that you're going to be experiencing some darkness within your life, whether it's in the physical, like myself without power, or with it within your being, feeling dark, feeling the emotions of what we consider more of those darker kind of emotions, maybe sadness, maybe retreating into like depression, anger, any of those things. So that is what we will be experiencing in the next coming days, or if you've clicked on this video, whether you've clicked on it today, the day that I'm making it, or much sooner or later on, um, it doesn't really matter. This message is meant for you. So what's coming through is a seed. A seed has to go underground. It has to be under the soil, and it has to be a certain depth. It has to be under there. It has to experience that darkness. It has to be with the worms. It has to be with the dirt. It has to be with the grime, the moisture, no light. It has to be down there in order for it to sprout and grow properly. If we just throw a seed on the top and it never goes into the darkness and experiences that, it will never be that plant, that really healthy plant that needs to grow big and tall. So that's what's coming through here. The other thing that's coming through around darkness is that darkness may last about three days. So that's what came through to me in an intuitive message that came through actually before Hurricane Barrel. Um, I had a message coming through that there would be three days of darkness. And these days of darkness um, appear to be in the physical and also in the emotional. So you may be experiencing darkness within the physical, meaning, okay, maybe your lights have been shut off or maybe you don't have electricity or power or something is happening in your physical that it seems very, very dark for you. Um, it could be happening within your being, feeling the darkness of emotions, whether that's sadness, whether that's anger, any of those emotions that seem more on that darker scale. Okay, the other thing that's coming through is that the darkness is needed because if you experience too much of the light all at once, you will not develop properly. So what's coming through is old photographs. I never took photography class in high school or did anything like that, but I did have a friend that took photography. And she brought me into the dark room with her, and this was in high school. And she kind of explained the process to me. She showed me the room and it was a dark room, and I also remember it being kind of like red. So there was a darkness to the room, and there was a reddening, and there was just this darkness in there. And so I only really had one question. Why does the film, why does it have to be dark? in this room in order to develop these pictures. And so she explained that this is a chemical process that is happening. And when a chemical process like this is happening, in this case for photographs, for the image to appear, if the image and those chemicals experience the light too quickly, too much of the light all at once, the image will develop in a way that we won't be able to see the image. It will not be a good image. So in order to have that clear, uh, correct, clear image that you took, you have to have the darkness and develop it slowly. There's even ways to slow the ways that it, it, the light exposes to it. So there's ways to kind of uh, diminish the light and hold it and kind of make it go slower. So it experiences more of that darkness to create more of that image, that clear image that you want in your photograph. So that is exactly what is happening within your being. Whether you're experiencing that darkness in your emotions, in the physical, whatever is happening, it's a processing, it's a developing of your being. If we were to hit you with all the light at once, your vessel, your body would actually not be able to handle that. Light actually requires you to have a lighter vessel, to have a higher vibration, to experience more healthier foods, um, nature. So much of this stuff is needed in order to experience all of the light. So if we were to hit you with all that light right now, it would just be too much. So right now that process of being in the darkness and developing yourself is totally necessary and it's what needs to happen. It's what happens in nature. It's what happens in all of our evolutionary things that we've ever seen. So it's totally natural. Don't beat yourself up if you are in the darkness. Don't feel bad. Don't, don't think anything other than you're going through that experience and experience it fully. Let it be. Let it be there. Let that darkness be there because what is happening is you're actually developing into that perfect, beautiful image that you truly are. 
See, you're not who you think you are. You're actually already whole, complete, and perfect. And that's the way I see you. That's the way the universe sees you. That's the way source and God sees you. You already are perfect and complete. But you're going through this kind of darkening, this kind of reddening process. And it's totally natural. You're just going through that process. And as you go through that process, the image of who you truly are begins to crystallize and become clearer and clearer and clearer. And before you know it, you will exude that. You will be embodied in that. And you will all of a sudden shine that light. Everywhere you go, you'll shine that light. You'll be able to give that light freely. You'll have an overflow of your being. So I hope that this message found you well today. If it um, resonated with you, please leave me a heart down below. Uh, give me a like. Please share this message with others because I'm sure that this message is meant for many other people out there. We are all going through this collectively. So thank you so much for watching. I love you all.